So here we have an example of some of the HR data processing that would happen in a typical organisation. There's quite a few as you can see. Some of these may be familiar to you, some not so familiar. And you may also look at that list and think there's actually a whole bunch of other things that happen within our business that aren't listed or represented here. And it is just an example. But think about the security of how all of the personal data flows through these different activities. Think about whether or not you're taking on board paperwork that then needs to be manually entered into databases. Do you have APIs running in the background that shares information between your HR database and your payroll system? Do you send personal data or special category data to colleagues and external parties via email systems. Look at all of the security that happens within these particular areas. There is a lot of HR processing that typically would be quite hidden to your employees, something that they're not very aware of. And I think the principle of transparency is now going to create perhaps a few areas of tension now as we look to clarify to our employees all the different types of processing that happen within the business. Naturally you're going to have lawful bases for all of these so we will look at those in the next topic just to square away what you're doing and why you're doing it to help you with your transparency towards your employees. Mm -hmm.